last video of three, that'd be three of three. Right now we've got, uh, not bad, we've got a three belt system here uh, with a quite short center distance just to fit it into the screen. In the previous video we checked, we could still go back to the long, uh, more correct by the textbook version. We're gonna stick with this because it fits nicely on screen. Um, this is all working out fine. We've got parameterized assembly going on and we're using placed files, these shivs or shivs or pulley, V-belt pulleys to decide on the belt placement. We're also using the standardized B profile for the belt and there's three of them patterned. Uh, we made a decision previously not to do the belt repeatedly, which is probably more correct, uh, but this gives us a more compact model for now. Uh, we're just trying to show animations from here. Right now we've got two independently rotating things. It's all perfectly fine, but we should link them together. Fusion of course has a way to do that. And again, ignore my somewhat rummagey uh, history here. Under assemble, you can drive joints and you can motion link them. We only have two, if you zoom out way out, crazy distance, you can actually click the joints quite easily. Two revolutes. And you can see what it does. It plays you a video or an animation. And they're both going at one to one. Stop that for a second. So we need to change this angle. It turns out we can just do it right here. And we have parameters for this. So what if I say times say D over D, do we want the big one to rotate faster or slower than the little small sheave? So it should be smaller, so it would be D divided by big D. Let's play that. That looks right. Or does it? No, we've got that wrong. Or did it not take? Let's do that again. Oh, that's a lot of deletes. Sorry, it didn't take. The degrees got in the way, I think. So 360 times, we want a smaller number. D divided by big D. Say okay. See if it takes. Now, what I should be seeing, if I go right, that as this one rotates through 90, this one should be less. So let's try that. So that's about 90, big one's less. Nice, now the belt doesn't change shape, so we don't need to worry about the shape of the belt. So now we're doing that, that looks good, perfect. If I want to type in a particular value, I can actually double click on the flag and type in, for example, zero. So that'll now drive them both. For the end of this guided and for the end of this week, we want you to make a video of this running to prove that it works. So that's kind of over to you. For me in the Mac, uh, which is what this is running inside of right now, I just need to use QuickTime and do a screen recording. Uh, I can't do one because that's what you're watching right now. So QuickTime is running uh, and making this recording, so I can't do a recording within a recording. So it's kind of over to you. Uh, the method is though, we have to get it set up. So last step in this week of fun, under assemble motion link, we've done that. And then the normal step after this is to go to motion study. If you hover over this, I don't know if it gives you a bigger help file, it doesn't matter. Just click motion study and we'll be seeing what we get here. Get this sort of standardized input. Um, what we need to do is it says right here, select joints to animate. So let's animate one of them. doesn't matter which one. It makes sense though to do D, little d, or revolute one. And what it does is it gives you uh, like a mode, a, a thing, a playhead here. What you can do is grab it. You can add a point. Surprise. Oh. <laughs> you can also subtract the points. So once you've got it selected, you can actually just press tab and put in your values. So if I say, for example, 360 here, it'll go 360. Let's try it. 
So all we have to do here is press play. It's a bit fast. Let's try a slow speed. There we go. Now, if you want, you can have it repeat, but this won't work for us because the angles aren't exact. You'll get this jump on the big piece. So just give us one play, I would say. Now, if you want to be really fancy, you can play it both ways, but that's not realistic. Just the one way. And that's all we really need. Uh, you can make this bigger. You can have all sorts of joints running simultaneously. Uh, so you can, for example, make one joint seem to drive another one, even though it's on the other side of the assembly. So you can see all these joints, degrees of freedom, uh, so on and so forth. This is surprisingly strong, I have to say. Uh, there's also a minus button here to get rid of it. You can make them or suppress them. But the easy way here is just to click on the point. So for example, if I change that to minus 360, it'll just jump it down. And then I can press play again. It just goes the other way. If you want to add more points, you can, for example, say the angle is 180. So then you would get a more complicated one way than the other. One, two. We don't need that. So we'll just delete that guy. There's our point. Show us that. You might have to kind of key it up right and show it working properly. Give us this uh, distance, 16.35. Make a video of it. Post that along with your PDF of what you did uh, for the day, uh, for this part of the video. Uh, and that's about it. So thanks for watching. That's the end of this week's stuff. And I believe the end of the four points this year. Um, over to you.